Okay, we're back. What is this, Wednesday evening? Alright, let's head out. Hey. Looks like I cannot head out. Oh. Alright, let's wash something then. Oh, let's wash ICU. is a convicted criminal, yet you want to save him? His guilt or innocence is for the courts to decide. My only concern is that he lives long enough to get there. It's a story about the daily struggles of doctors working in an emergency ward. Wow! I like this guy. A person's life is valuable, no matter what they've done. Yep. Alright, let's get some kindness. Mm -hmm. Got three of them, perfect. Alright, it's bedtime. Why haven't the Phantom Thieves said anything? Having your money stolen sounds terrifying. It's like settling, not knowing what they're going to do, going to do with to us. They're declaring their victory? What does that mean? I really wish they stopped that. Yep, good morning. <laughs> Every day is so hot. I empty my water bottle so fast. By the way, summer break is coming up. Can I ask what your or your plans are? Um, what about you? So anyway. I'll be mostly doing training with the gymnastics team, and if I have free time, I'll be doing self training. Oh, well, look to join me. Whenever you're available, would be fine. Now the train is here, let's get going then. Hey, your phone's buzzing. Alright, what do they want then? The Alibaba message you. Uh, it's just Ryuji. Nothing? Let us know ASAP if he tries to get in touch with you, okay? Just never shuts up, does he? Yeah, like I never shuts up. But I think this time it's probably Alibaba. Good day. Uh, good day to you too. Ah, you responded today. Once again, I am Alibaba. You are the leader of the Phantom Thieves, correct? Um, yep. That's right. I appreciate your honesty. I take it you received the calling card? So it really was from this guy. Are you at school right now? I'm in class. Mm, you're a surprisingly diligent student. Now then, I have prepared the calling card for you. When are you going to steal it? What are you talking about? Stealing a heart, of course. Aren't you able to steal a heart as long as you have a calling card? Tell him. We need the name of the target. We need the target's name. A name? Is your heart thievery truly impossible with all information? It is. I see. I suppose past calling cards did have names on them. One moment. Very well, I'll tell you. I believe their name was Futaba Sakura. If you fail in this mission, I will expose your identity to the world and to the police. Well then, I'll be counting on you. We shall speak again after the change of heart. Um, who is Futaba Sakura? I can't find the account to send a response to. Oh, I got back as an error message. So 
he threatened you, then just took off? Yeah, what an asshole. Sakura? I feel like I've heard that name before. It's, uh, um... The old man, like the bar owner? In any case... Coffee guy? And we should let everyone know about this. We're gonna get reported if we don't do this? What the hell? Taba Sakura? Wasn't Sakura... It's boss's last name! Oh, there we go. Does he have any family? Does he? For reals? How laid back are you? Wouldn't you normally be introduced at least? I mean, you are living at his place. Well, his situation does make things difficult. The calling card was delivered to boss's house. It'd be more natural to assume this is all related. One of the reasons for that is because Alibaba mentioned nothing about which Futaba Sakura. Perhaps he thinks that the name alone is enough. That makes sense. I believe it's adequate for us to think that this is the doing of someone close by. I see. I don't know how Alibaba got a hold of his smartphone information. However, since he's ordering us through chat, I do feel as though he's taunting us. You mean, this might just be a prank? I mean, look at his demands. Pay me if you don't want me to leak who you really are. That I'd understand. But he's telling us to steal someone's heart without explaining why. So we're being tested. Regardless, I think we should ask boss about Futaba Sakura once. That's probably for the best. There's nothing else we can do at the moment, and Chief might have an idea on what this is about too. Yeah, communication is key. I'll check the school's roster just in case. We must make sure boss doesn't figure out who we are. We'll have to go about this cautiously. I, th I think he does figure it out according to uh, those interrogations. Hmm? What's up? Um, who's Futaba Sakura? Why do you know about that? It's got nothing to do with you. I'm going home. Make sure you lock up the place. Looks like it's a hit. Oh, I just remembered. Brandon, we're able to ask boss of Futaba Sakura. He didn't want to talk. For the very reason as to why that was. Alibaba seemed might be our only hope of defeating Medjet. I wish you could, could have got some info about Futaba out of boss, but trying to force it out would probably have the opposite effect. To be honest, I owed a great deal to both boss and Ren. I don't wish for this to be a source of discord between them. Yeah, I know just what you mean. It's probably best to wait for Boss to bring the subject up himself. Alright, what do you say? Mm. It doesn't look like making Alibaba talk will be easy. I wonder how we're gonna get the information we need. Uh, I have no idea. I on TV. A general group of dangerous hackers has called out the Phantom Thieves. Our show managed to get a calling card left by, as it says here, the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. Honor, they also claim that they will make their target confess their sons. Hmm. Oh, we found him pretty famous. I guess it's no surprise that we're in the public eye now. Seriously, can't do jack. Alright, I guess, can we some tools? Okay. Probably like four. What's up? 
Yeah, oh, never mind, let's do it later. Oh. Oh, let's watch a DVD. Spooks our kindness. If you try to save both the mother and the baby, you'll lose them both. Or I could save them both. I can do this. You need to trust me. Yeah, trust him. It's a story about the daily struggles of doctors working in an emergency ward. That's incredible. Wow, this guy just doesn't have the word surrender in his dictionary, does he? Oh. All right, we're done washing that, and now we get some kindness. Okay. Well then. Yo, tomorrow's the end of the first semester, but we still got all this lame shit coming up. If you don't take care of this lame shit, you can kiss your summer vacation goodbye. Oh yeah, about this Futaba Sakura girl. No, oh, that's a girl? If she's related to Boss, think people living nearby would know about her? That's some keen intuition coming from you, Ryuji. You should have made use of that on your exams. Uh, I never want to think about exams ever again. Anyway, asking around in your neighborhood might be the fastest way to figure this shit out. Then again, I doubt it'll be that easy. It never is. <laughs> Summer vacation starts the day after tomorrow, but don't forget, there's an urgent assembly on Monday. We're, we'll be taking attendance. There's been an unusual number of strange incidents this year. Don't do anything stupid over break. Got it? Don't go someplace shady like the Red Lake District, and don't go to the beach after dark. I want to go to the beach. I want to jump in some cold water. Seems like we won't be having fun in our summer break for a while. You may be right. We don't have a single clue. Might as well try. We find nothing to lose. Let's head to Yongyang and gather info around the neighborhood. Alright, we're in Yongyang. Futaba? Futaba, yes. I know that name. Heard it somewhere before. Ah oh, yes, that was the name of the teacher I had a crush on back when I was in elementary school. This uh, small fuel too. Okay. Stuffing the wrong Futaba. Hey, hey. Futaba? No, no, I don't know who that could be. Okay, I wonder if it's over here. Futaba? Who knows? By the way, do you eat a lot? Um. Hey, I'm a growing boy. If it's just you and him, then you've been eating enough for two, right? You must have, must have quite the appetite. What? You're telling me you don't actually eat that much? Maybe his boss eats a lot then. Let's ask more people too. Oh, so maybe Futaba lives with boss? Probably. Futaba? Who's that? I don't think I know anybody but by that name. But what if this Futaba get angry as they find out you're sleeping on them though? Yeah, I think Futaba was here with boss. Futaba? Nope, don't know anyone like that. I come to sakura sans often to make deliveries, but I've never seen who you're talking about. Sakura-san single, right? I thought he didn't have any children. So, up until now. 
Our biggest lead seems to be the chief buys a lot of food. Far more than enough for one person living alone. Let's check out all the shops where you can buy food. Alright, food. There's probably a grocery store over here. This place is close to LeBlanc, so we might be able to learn something here. Hey there, welcome. Hmm. Futaba? Over at Sakurusan's? I haven't heard anything. Uh, sorry. Come again. Hmm. We didn't find anything on Futaba. I think our only option now is to go home and ask the chief directly. <sighs> you read the letter, did you not? So you're the one who tipped him off about Futaba. You really shouldn't have done that. I have no intention of talking to you about Wakaba. Wakaba, okay. Tipped off? What are you talking about? Back to the matter at hand. Your parental authority will have to be suspended. I take it you're okay with that outcome? What? Considering the state of your daughter and your family overall, there are no points in your favor. Would you like to take this to domestic court? Our chances of victory are roughly 99.9% .9 though. With these suspicions of abuse, there's no way you could avoid having your custody revoked. We're extremely serious about this. No, I thought you're going that far. Are you serious? I skipped that part by accident. As long as there's a possibility that cognitive science can be linked to psychotic breakdowns. Fine. You win. Thank you. I will contact you at a later date. I doubt you'll find anything you want to hear, though. That's fine. It will be up to us to decide whether the information you give us is useful or not. Next time I come here, it will just be for a nice cup of coffee. And stay out! That woman is real good at pissing people off. What's with that look? You got something to say? Um... Cuss, what was that? This doesn't involve you. Is Futaba your daughter? That's enough! Just behave yourself. And keep going to school if you don't want me to throw you out of here. You got that? Lock the store up. Well, that basically confirms Futaba exists, at least. But it sounds like she's got her own problems. More oh, and didn't they mention cognitive something? Okay, um, more so our conjecture that Alibaba is connected to LeBlanc seems to have a pretty solid foundation. I wonder what the chief's hiding. We can't really press him on the subject, though. Especially after he mentioned throwing you out. Yeah, we don't, we don't want to go become homeless. Yo, how'd it go? You find out anything about Futaba Sakura? I've been wondering about that too. Tell you tomorrow. Whoa, ho. So I did throw something. Fine work. I knew we could count on you. Ren King, thank you. Alright, let's all meet up tomorrow. Mm. What do you think the chief was arguing about with that lady? I wonder. Nice. All right, can we go outside? Hey. Oh, come on, how about this? Hey. All right, so now, okay, so we'll make some more lockpicks.
A woman was threatening boss? Yeah. She was going on about domestic abuse and taking the case to court and stuff. Oh. What's up? Yeah, it's Makoto's sister. It's nothing. Yeah, you know what's up. So to summarize what you told us, Futaba is boss's daughter, and he's abusing her? I don't know him very well. Is he really the kind of person who would do that? Um... There's no way. I would like to believe so as well, but we don't have any conclusive evidence, do we? No, we don't got Jack. Is it Alibaba? I've given you a calling card and you told you the target's name. You should be ready for this. Why aren't you doing it? I told you I'd help you if you stole her heart. What well, seems to be the hold up? I also said I'd report your identity to the police if you didn't help me. Are you okay with that? I'm serious here. What a selfish person. Well, he does have information on us. Anyways, this Futaba he's talking about have a palace? If so, I need keywords to get in. Try messaging him about him. Tell me her keywords. Keywords? What are you talking about? Are you just saying random stuff to dodge the issue? What are we supposed to do about this? We'd be able to figure out Alibaba's identity if we could just meet with him. Try asking him if there's any way we could meet up. I want to meet you. Meet? With me? That will be difficult. I have reasons for not being able to go out. That's why I'm contacting you like this. He can't go out? Wait, I get it. You steal people's hearts directly. That might make things difficult. Extremely difficult. One moment. I'm thinking. Okay, it's a shame, but I'm calling this deal off. Stop looking into Futaba Sakura. Forget this ever happened, I won't report you to police either. Don't worry. Sorry for taking your time. Now, if you excuse me. Wait a second. I right, set, set the deals off. We're never going to speak again. Don't expect me to contact you anymore either. We're not done here. Huh? Did he just shut the whole operation down? This doesn't make any sense. Not only can Alibaba not go out, but he won't let us meet Futaba either. Well, it's none of our business now. We can't contact him anymore. But what do we do about Medjed? We won't be able to get Alibaba to help us with them now. Maybe they were just pranking us. They made that huge declaration, but they ain't done nothing since. <laughs> I bet we got them freaked out. You mean they backed out because they're afraid we'll change their hearts? Yep. And now it'd just make them look lame if they came out and apologized. But... I guess with Alibaba and Medjet out of the picture, can we just say this case is closed? You do have a point. I guess it is safe for us to relax a little. Oh yeah! Remember Kaneshiro's treasure? Prepare to have your minds blown! We got 150,000 yen out of it! Oh wow. That's awesome! We can really go all out with that kind of money! Yeah! Let's make up for what happened at the fireworks festival. We gotta go eat something fitting for the Phantom Thieves' worldwide debut. Mm, where would be good? Ooh, how about sushi? I could really go for some eel, too. The best method is to fill yourself on ginger before beginning to eat sushi. That is my master technique. Wow. You don't need to do that this time. Actually, definitely don't do it, okay? I'm all for sushi. You're okay with that too, right? Uh, yep. Sushi's fine. Then it's decided. Alright, we'll go tomorrow night. I wonder if all that med is business was just a prank. Now that I think about it commonly, it's strange that they haven't actually done anything yet. If their goal is to target the Phantom Thieves, they should want to be acting now, given our fame. 
Huh? When you put it that way, it kind of makes me wonder too. Especially after they taunted us theor theatrically like that. Yes, however, it would be best for us to come up with a countermeasure regardless. For now though, we should cautiously enjoy the sushi. That is all we can do. Something's not right. I was thinking that too, I can't really put it into words though. Hmm, Yusuke is right. I'm sorry for bringing up this up on the day before our celebration party too. Sure, Makoto. We'll be eating sushi like kings tomorrow. I hope one person in particular is on their best behavior. I'm refraining from saying who, though. You better not be talking about me. I should write something. Can we leave? Hey. Okay, since we can't leave. Save the game. Probably end it for today. Come back next time.